Hi there, my name is Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today, we're going to show you some of the small scale demonstrations that we use around the lab with school groups and classroom demonstrations. We're just going to give you a quick overview of them. If you're interested in more detailed stuff, um, check out some of the other videos where we go into every one of these in great detail. So we're going to start off with the Farnsworth Hirsch Fuser, which is this noisy thing pumping down behind me. This is what we refer to as the star in a jar. It is an actual working tabletop nuclear fusion reactor that we're running right now just on atmosphere. And it's a great way to demonstrate how stars work and we can use it for demonstrations in astronomy, nuclear physics, uh, plasma physics, and all kinds of other fun stuff. Basically, here's how it works. There's a power supply down below that allows us to control this pump, which operates, the, or this motor, which operates this vacuum pump, which is pumping down this chamber. Now, when we apply high voltage inside, there's a pair of grids, and this allows us to electrostatically confine atoms and smash them together. That's the basics of it. So when I turn on the high voltage, if you look here, you'll see a purple glow start to form. Now that is the fourth state of matter, plasma. It's a ball of pure energy. And right now it's about the size of a golf ball. As I turn up the voltage, it'll get brighter and brighter. Now we'll turn out the lights for a quick second and give you a look at that coming up and down just to give you an idea what it looks like. It's kind of neat. Now I'll turn the power down and you can still see the faint glow, but you can also see the trumpet coming out the top and the bottom. This is an important aspect that we use in several of our demonstrations. You can turn the power up and get it nice and bright. Now I'll turn the lights back on and show you the next thing. Our next demonstration is our ring launcher. This one's a big hit with the kids. It's basically just a small impulse generator, and we use these. This is the platen inside the hard drive of your computer. Um, in fact, the computer that you're probably watching this on right now has one that looks like this inside it. And this is where the data is actually stored. What they're made of is aluminum. They're coated in rust, and they do that on purpose. But if we take one of these disks and put it here, we have a coil of wire embedded in the plastic below, and a simple button arrangement. We charge the power supply up below it, and that's putting electricity into these capacitors, and when we let the button go, it pumps energy into the ring. Now watch the ring closely. I love that demo. And now you can see why the kids love it. What it's doing is when we dump all that energy into the coil of wire under here, it generates an electromagnetic field that is pumped into this, which acts as a single shorted turn of a one-turn transformer and that creates a repulsive electromagnetic force and it causes the ring to fly. Now what it's doing is generating an electromagnetic force in the ring and this force is opposite of the force here so it launches it away. But without the ring there's nothing, nothing moves. This is all done electromagnetically so it's kind of neat that the kids can come put their hand on it and there's a little flash down there from the power supply, but that's it. There's actually nothing to see here. There, nothing happens. It's all invisible. And this is good for demonstrating opposites attract, likes repel, how maglev works, all kinds of simple concepts, transformers. And it's, it's a rough and tumble demonstration that we've had for a long time. It's pretty ugly, but we've got the new one in development for a nice pretty box. This was the original prototype, which became such a hit, we've never bothered to replace it. Let's take a look at the next one, the Jacob's Ladder. A Jacob's Ladder is a basic demonstration. You've seen them in Frankenstein movies for years. It's the classic climbing arc. This is a Jacob's Ladder. And we use it for demonstrations in electricity and physics and hot air rises, all kinds of stuff. It's a very simple, very basic demonstration that's always a hit with the kids. Check this out. Now what's happening is it creates an arc at the bottom and then the hot air causes the arc to rise. Right now it's a little up and down because the heat's on in here, so that's moving a lot of air. Now let's take a look at one that the kids love and the parents hate. It's also one of my personal favorites, the Air Raid Siren. This is the Geek Group's Air Raid Siren. It's actually a pole mount tornado siren. Um, they're used for Air Raid Sirens too in some places. It's just a great big old federal signal siren. It's designed to work on 72 volts. We actually run it on only 24 volts, and even at that power, it's deafening. 
This is a great way to show that sound is actually mechanical energy because when you put a group of kids in front of it, all wearing earplugs of course, um, it's so loud that it's roar and you can feel it shaking you and it's really cool. But this is the Geek Group's Air Raid Siren. I like it at really low power because it has that nice growl to it. Just right down low there. Deep, manly growl. That, by the way, was just a quick run of it. It gets a lot louder if you hold the button down. So that's the Geek Group's Air Raid Siren. So that's a quick look at just a handful of the small scale demos we have here at the Geek Group. Though, I don't really know if I refer to the Air Raid Siren as a small scale demo. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you later. Be sure to check out www.thegeekgroup.org um, to learn more about our demonstrations and events. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email off to info, I-N-F-O, at thegeekgroup.org. My name's Chris Bowden. You guys have fun. We're going to get to work. See ya.